So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Android device via USB for use with App Inventor 2. Now I do want to note before you get started that this is probably the most clunky way to connect to your Android device. And the reason I say that is because if you were to connect via, you know, with a companion app or using the emulator, there's a lot less setup involved, right? And there's really no quick and easy way to get your USB connection up and running, especially when you're working on a Windows operating system. So if you haven't looked, checked out those two other videos, I would say, you know, do that first. If you already have, and this is kind of your last resort, great, let's get into it. So as I've said, if you're working with the Windows operating system, the first thing that we need to do is download the drivers for our particular device. The best way I find to find your drivers for your device is just by using Google. And this is how I would do it. So you're going to open up a new tab and type in google.com. That's actually my homepage, but I'm going to go to Google. And then what I'm going to do is to find my drivers. And what you should do to find your drivers is you're going to type in the model of your phone. So in my case, it's the Samsung Galaxy S5. After I type that in, so I'm going to just start typing that in. Samsung Galaxy S5. After I type that in, I'm going to type in drivers, right? So just like that. And then I'm going to click enter. Once that pops up, I'm going to try and look for the manufacturer's website here. So I know Samsung manufactures my phone and this first link, it does in fact have Samsung. And then I'm going to look for drival, drivers, excuse me, in the main title. And you'll notice there it is. So I think this is probably the best link. From there, you notice it says, get the latest drivers, manuals, firmware, and software. So I'd say this is, we're on the right direction here. So I'm gonna type in my model, which is the Galaxy S5. And then from there, it brings up a list. So I'm gonna just try and find my version of my phone. I have the T-Mobile Charcoal Black. So hopefully this brings us to our drivers. And you'll notice it does, right? It says manuals and downloads. And then right under downloads, it says USB driver. So I would just download that and install it. And I have my driver installed for my phone. But I'm not going to stop there. I don't want to just show you how to download, you know, drivers for the S5. I want to try and cement the process of how to find your drivers, right? So I'm going to look for another drivers using the same method. I know right now another phone that is relatively popular is the Nexus 6. So I'm going to use the same method, right? Type in the model of my phone, which is the Nexus 6, and then drivers afterwards. So drivers. So the first link here is, you know, it's Google is the site, android or developer.android.com, and Google makes Android. Google also makes the Nexus. So, so far we have one thing checked, which is the manufacturer's website. The second thing we do, right, is we look for driver in the name, and there it is. So I think this is a pretty good link. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna look for the driver download. And there we have it, right? It says, get it, download Google USB driver. So I would download that driver and then I would install it and I'd have the driver for my phone. So with any kind of phone that you have, the methodology is pretty simple, right? You go to Google, type in your model and then drivers afterwards. Then you search for it, look for the manufacturer's website and driver in the title and chances are you will find your drivers. Great. So. Now, the second step, once you've downloaded your drivers, is you need to enable USB debugging on your phone. So here is my phone, you'll notice to the right, right? So I can kind of scroll over and stuff just so you can so I'm not, see that I'm not lying to you, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my settings now in my phone. So go to your phones and open up your settings. And once again, you know, depending on your phone, this step is also gonna be you know, dependent on whatever kind of device you're operating on. This is the Galaxy S5 that I'm operating on right here. So this is how I would do it to open my settings. I'd click on this little gear icon and then I would scroll down and I would find about a de about device, excuse me. So here is about device. I need to click on that. So you go into your settings so far, you're gonna find about device. Once you've found about device, you're gonna to navigate to where it says build number. And then you're gonna just go ahead and tap build number several times. And if you're doing that properly, a little gray box should pop up. You'll notice here it says developer mode has already been turned on. Yours won't say that. Yours will say, you know, continue tapping build number three more times, two more times, one more time until it finally says developer mode enabled. That's what you wanna see, 
Okay, so you'll notice as I tap build number, my developer mode is already enabled, but yours isn't. Tap that until it is. Great, so once your developer mode is enabled, you're gonna go look for your developer options, select them, and then ensure that USB debugging is enabled. So you see this setting right here, USB debugging? You wanna make sure that is checked, right? So I have a check mark, I'm all good, make sure yours is check marked, and then you'd be all good. If you can't find your developer's options, a lot of phones these days have this little search button in your settings. Just click on that and then just type in USB debugging. That's a quick way of finding it. Once you've found it, just like I said, make sure USB debugging is enabled. Great, so just to recap what we did in this video was, we were looking for our drivers for our devices on Google. Once we found those particular drivers, we installed them, and then once they were all installed, we went onto our phones and we enabled USB debugging. One more time, I wanna note that if you're currently using a Mac or a Linux machine, that there's no need to download any drivers, but you do still need to ensure that you have that USB debugging option enabled. So that concludes our video. In the next video, we're gonna go about actually getting an application up and running on our phones using our USB connection.